بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم آئی ایم ڈاکٹر محمد زبیر اینڈ یو آر واچنگ ایکڈیمک بے ٹوڈے آئی ایم گوئنگ ٹو ٹیل یو واٹ آر ویری ایبلس اینڈ واٹ آر دا ڈفرینٹ ٹائپس آف ویری ایبلس ویری ایبلس آر دا بلڈنگ بلاک آف اینی سائنٹیفک ریسرچ ویری ایبلس ہیو ٹو میجر ڈائمینشنس ون از ویریشن اور چینج اینڈ دی ادر از میئرمنٹ آف چینج The reason for the confusion lie in the fact when students try to understand variables by looking at both of these dimensions together. Let's start our today's topic and if you have not subscribed my channel so far, please subscribe. Variables Generally, we refer to variable as anything that bring change or get changed. But in scientific research, the term variable is used to identify the characteristics or the properties of the concepts that are to be studied. If you don't know what is a concept, then please watch my video on what is a concept. The link is given in the description. A variable can be defined as a characteristic, quantity, quality or anything of interest that have different values. For example, unemployment rate, temperature, electoral turnout, weight, height, monthly sale, etc. A variable must be able to take on two or more values so that it can be measured and compared. In natural science, variables are quite easy to understand and measure like temperature, pressure, volume, force, etc. However, in social sciences, these become slightly difficult to understand and measure. For example, if we take political party as a variable, political party in a state can take as many values as many political parties are there in that state. Political parties in US can take two values as there are two political parties in US. Now, types of variables. Variables can be divided into different types uh, on various grounds. Number one, we can describe the types of variable on the basis of variation or change they bring. And number two, we can explain the different types of variables on the basis of measurement. Number one, on the basis of variation or change, variables can be of at least five types. Number one. Independent variable, dependent variable, mediating or intervening variable, moderating variable, extraneous variable. While on the basis of measurement, there are two types of variables. Discrete or categorical variables and number two, continuous variables. Discrete variables have further two types, dichotomous variables and multicotomous variables. Now let's start uh, types of variables on the basis of variation or change they bring. Number one, independent variable. An independent variable is a variable that causes change in other variables. Hence, it is also known as causal element. For example, if we say poverty increases crime, then poverty is an independent variable that caused increase in crime. Number two, dependent variable. Dependent variable is a variable that gets changed due to independent variable. Hence, it is also known as effect element. In the example, poverty increases crime. Crime is the, it, crime is the dependent variable which gets increased due to poverty, which is an independent variable. Number three, mediating or intervening variable. A mediating variable explains why and how an independent variable bring change in dependent variable. For example, if we say media promotes democracy, why and how media promotes democracy? Actually, media promotes political awareness, which in turn promotes democracy. Hence, Political awareness, is an, political awareness is a mediating variable in this situation. 
a mediator is affected by an independent variable, then it brings change in dependent variables. Hence, mediator itself does not bring any change. A mediator that causes positive but limited change is known as a mediator. However, if a mediator causes negative and huge change, it is known as intervening variable. In the previous example of media promoting democracy, if a government imposes strict censorship on media that negatively affects democracy, censorship will be an intervening variable. Number four, moderating variable. It is a variable that affects the association between independent and dependent variable. A moderating variable can strengthen, weaken or change the relationship between independent and dependent variables. Moderating variable can be qualitative as well as quantitative. For example, race, religion, age, gender, etc. Take the example, relationship between salary and job satisfaction is moderated by number of dependents as an officer have. Those with fewer dependents will have higher job satisfaction with even lower salary. Number 5. Extranverse variable. Extranverse variables are those variables which are though not the focus of study. However, these also affect the results. In the previous example of job satisfaction from salary and the moderating effect of number of dependents, there can be several unwanted variables that can affect the results. For example, lifestyle, inflation, fashion trends, etc. Extranverse variables need to be controlled in order to enhance accuracy of the research. Now, types of variables on the basis of measurement. On the basis of measurement, as we said earlier, Variables are of two types. Number one, continuous variable. Continuous variables are not restricted to any specific limits or category. These can take any value within, within an upper or lower limit. For example, age in years, height in inches, salary in dollars. Number two, discrete or categorical variables. Unlike continuous variables, discrete variables are restricted to only a set number of values. These have a minimum sized unit, for example, number of members in a family. Categorical variables further have two types, which means that these can generate two types of categories. Number one, Dichotomous variable. It is a variable that requires to be measured in only two categories. For example, gender can be measured into male and female, residence into urban and rural. Number two, multicotomous variable. A multicotomous variable provides a selection of more than two possible answers from which to choose. An example is Check all that apply type of questions. I hope you would have understood what, what is a variable and what are the different types of variable. Our next video will be on measurement of variables, the different levels of measurement, which is very important for any scientific research. So please stay tuned. Allah Hafiz.